the ocean. Vast, beautiful, serene. Words we would use to describe the ocean if it wasn't so freaking polluted by us dirty animals. That's right, us. We, the people, are destroying the very source of life. Annually, we dump 8 million tons of plastic into the ocean. This breaks down into smaller bits, resulting in the huge 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic currently in the ocean. This plastic absorbs toxic chemicals, becoming up to 1 million times more concentrated. That's a lot to think about at once, so let's start small. This is plankton. Just look at it. So tiny and cute and stuff. Plankton is eaten by small fish. These small fishes are eaten by bigger fishes, which are then eaten by even bigger fishes. Or us. We, human beings, are eating plastic. Eating plastic. Like, you know when your stupid little brother swallows Legos? Yeah, that's us. But we're not the only ones. Every year, over 1 million seabirds and 100,000 aquatic mammals die from plastic pollution. Some are suffocated by plastic bags, while others choke on small shards. Plastic kills. However, there is a solution. Plastic in the ocean is concentrated in five gyres. The ocean cleanup is a project that takes advantage of them. These scalable barriers use passive technology to collect plastic at low cost and energy. The structures are powered by currents that funnel the plastic to the center where it can be extracted. Screens beneath these barriers will allow water to pass underneath, carrying all sea life while capturing the less dense plastic. But simply collecting the plastic isn't enough. We can take this even further by using naturally occurring bacteria that can eat plastic. Adding these microbes to the barriers will drastically increase their efficiency. Scientists estimate that it will take about 80,000 years for the ocean to naturally clean itself. With ocean cleanup technology, the ocean can clean itself in just five. This will require worldwide cooperation, but will benefit everyone. And maybe one day, with the ocean cleanup, we'll actually be able to describe the ocean as vast, beautiful, serene.